episode of City Championship Wrestling. I am the real Paul Jones, and with me via cell phone yet again, Jason DeMilo. How you doing, Jason? Um, not too bad. I'm sorry. Once again, to all my fans that I couldn't be there. You think that it would be easy to find better transportation in a city called the Motor City, but apparently you just can't. Jason, again, where are you really? I am committed to coming to CCW every week. I just, one thing after another happens, car breaks down, have to save a child from a burning car, the weather, life just comes at you, Jones, and I'm closer than you think, so next time. We'll see, DeMilo, we'll see. But let's go ahead and just get to it, partner. Let's bring out New Albania. Who is right? New Albanian, our newest member, Jason. Another guy who's waiting to put hands on you and is going to, I guarantee it. Yeah, Trevor Straw. What? You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are these buttons on the left side of your. You know what, never mind, you just keep going. Keep going. All right, just wait your turn, Andre. Strahd, you know what? My grandmother, she taught me a lot of things about the old country, and one thing she taught me, never trust a Strahd. And you proved her right last week. Listen, Jones, i tell you once. New Albania is the strongest group in city championship wrestling. Hands down. And with power comes victories. And with victories comes money. So naturally, the natural born killer is going to go where the money is. Got that? Yeah, I got that. First of all, these people working minimum wage don't know what it's like to be P1 and make a lot of money. Trevor Shroud is actually a lot smarter than people thought. And what, is it better to be on our side making money or to be on the other side getting your leg broken? Freedom Ramsey, you still haven't gotten it through your head. Just this idiot on the phone right here, Jason DeMilo, still hasn't gotten it through his head. It's always better to be with us than against us. And Freedom Ramsey, you're going to learn tonight. Actually, you're going to learn right now going up against a big gun. Are, are they gone, Jones? Almost. Good. Get them out quick. That's that's the goal. That's the goal. Let's go ahead and bring out Freedom Ramsey. Freedom, a lot's transpired in the last week or two. It looks like uh, looks like Ryan was right about old Trevor Stroud. Hey, I mean, it is what it is. Freedom's here. I'm alone, as you can see. It's not like I'm used to being in this type of situation. I could fight my way out of any battle I want, especially these idiots. April 8th, I know I'm going to have a lot of trials and tribulations, including tonight, but listen, it, it, it's all going to pay off. I, I believe in trusting myself. In freedom, we trust. All right, folks, let's get to our first match. You ready, Jason? Of course. And, you know, Trevor Stroud may be the smartest man in New Albania, but, of course, that doesn't mean much. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with you on that. You know, maybe maybe crafty or sly more than more than smart would, would describe all three of them. Folks, it looks like we are, uh, there's the bell for our opening matchup up, between man? Jay Abrams and Freedom Ramsey. And there, Freedom, Freedom bringing up, wow, he's getting right up in Jay's face. 
little, uh, well, not really talking back and forth. You know, Jay oh, Abrams, on, Jason. Come on, 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 come on,
Freedom showing a little bit of life there. Freedom slides back in. The big man sets him up for a power bomb. Freedom blocks it. Again. Oh, back body drop sends the big man to the outside. Also takes Trevor Strahd out. Kabashi's in. Throws the boot to Freedom. Freedom catches it. Trips him. Oh, goes to put him in the Boston Crab. Leapfrog Strahd slides between the legs of Jay Abrams. Freedom's managed to escape. He's taking a page from my book there, Jones, and he didn't pay for that book. What, what book? That, Freedom Ramsey doesn't need any advice from you, Jason. Everyone can take advice from me, Jones. I certainly hope they don't. Folks, we're back. Jason. Yes, Paul. You're at the sports bar across the street from the studio, aren't you? You think I would be at a sports bar? I only hang out in the most private of VIP lounges thinking I'd be at some sports bar. What do we got next, Jones? We've got Darian Ultra coming out next, Jason. Darren, can you believe this guy? I can't believe anything right now, uh, Paul Jones. I'm a little flustered. Due to Mr. Trevor Straw. Week after week, I defend this man. Week after week, I stand up for him, turn my back on my former partner, Ryan Sins. And what does he do? Betrays me. Because Trevor Straw has no character. Trevor Straw has no passion because he sold out to New Albania. Now, there's one man I, I owe an apology to. Not only to this one man, but I owe an apology to you because you tried to tell me as well. Freedom That's tried like to tell me. Too, Darian. Jason, sure. That's uh, and Ryan Sins. If we can get Ryan Sins, if he's here tonight, I would like to apologize to him. I think he is here. Let's bring him. Let's bring him out. Right, what do you got to say, man? You're right. It takes a, you know, I'm, I'm going to be the bigger person and accept, you know, I was wrong. You were right. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Because, I don't know, we just, I don't know. All I'm here to say is, I do want to apologize to you wholeheartedly. Shake my hand. No. That's fair. Yeah, well, it might take a little time to mend that bridge. That's fair. Well, I understand I have a match against uh, Mr. Emilio, and I uh, hope he's ready. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my head into the match as best I can, Jones. Have a good one. CCW fans, I love you all. Let's get to it. Jason, yep. I'm pretty sure that not only did you not try to defend Ryan. I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're one of the ones that sided with, with Trevor. I'm always on my own side. And then I just call it like, back to this match. Back to the match. The match just started, Jason. It's going to be and it's like anyone tonight. Starting off fast. 
Emilio with that Rana and that drop kick, but doesn't even get one. It's going to take a lot more than that tonight. Throws a chop. versus. Oh. oh my gosh! Uh, looks like Emilio. Oh, it looks like Emilio's done. Three, did Iglesias win? No, no. It looked like Iglesias might have been going for another Hurricanrana, and uh, Darian caught it, power bombed him for the win. Jason. Well. Well. This Grammy. You're watching, Trevor. I really hope you're watching. Because come April 8th, that's going to be you laying flat in the middle of the ring on your back with a broken neck. And the most pressing question I have, Jason, where are you really? You know, I thought you were like across the street and somehow like spying on the broadcast. But now I feel like I can hear an echo in, in the speaker. So like, are you hiding somewhere in the studio? Are you, are you up? Are you like in the ceiling or something up in the tiles? Do you think I would dirty myself by climbing up in a ceiling? Do you know how much these clothes cost that I'm wearing? Think I'd get them covered in dust and whatever filth is around there? If I was there, I'd be right in front of that camera, stealing the spotlight like I do each and every week, Paul. Well, that unfortunately does kind of make sense to me. You are pretty vain. can't imagine you'd be here not in front of a camera. I don't know. I, I still feel like something's up with you, Demilo. I don't trust you. But somebody I can trust, I'm going to bring him out right now. He's one of the few I can. Father Marquise. Yeah. Father just got out of a very, very, very intense prayer. And the person that we was praying for that whole time was Mikey Mourner. He needs to repent for his sins. But he's not the only person that we've been praying for in the village. Who else have we been praying for? His name is the big gun, Jay Abrams. Why? Because I challenged him to a match. April 8th, Lance Cruz High School in the father's backyard. But I'm going to have to renege on that one. I'm going to have to take it back. I have to. Why? Because the even bigger demon. There's demons. There's not only big guns now, it's demons. And that demon name is Moloch. And the father is coming to baptize you. April 8th at his backyard. Lance Cruz High School. But first, bring Mikey Mourner out here. Because the father is ready to repent on him and save his soul tonight. Let's bring him out. Mikey, you haven't been here the last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I, I know, Paul. I know. I, I don't want to talk tonight. All right. Good to see that his attitude is improved. After his suspension. Let's go ahead and get to the match, folks. Now. And four, not three. Anyone in the groin? Jason. Your reception is terrible wherever it is you are. So this match is starting out fast. Oh my. Marquise goes to roll up Mikey, but lets it go. Fury from Father Marquise. He goes for a pin right away. It gets two. 
See, Jason, I swear, like, I can hear. Oh. Big elbow from Father Marquis. This is just what happens. Oh, and that's what happens when you go to the well one too many times. Oh. I know you live. Mikey Moore comes off with that kick. Only gets two. Mikey needs to control his frustration in this matchup. He's got Marquise in the corner. Give him that European style uppercut. Brings him out. Looking for a suplex. Marquise blocks it. Blocks again. Going for the reversal. Maybe no. Hunt hangs Mikey up on the top rope. Goes to the middle in the corner. Comes off with the knee, but Mikey gets out of the way. Now Mikey heads up top. Oh, Father Marquis manages to cut him off. Throwing those four arms. Now, oh, Mikey's now sitting up on the top turnbuckle. The if Terry, Terry is administering the count. Oh. Mikey Warner fights Father Marquise off. Goes up top. Comes up with drop. Looks like Mikey might have been injured. Marquis goes for the pin. It is over. Jason. Jason. Yes. What? Hold on. Unlike you, I'm a very perceptive man. I've been paying attention. And you want to know what that echo is? No. No. Hey, what's up, Jason? Jason. No. No. I knew you were here, Demilo. Looks like Jason might might have some trouble here. Oh, Brian Sins comes to the rescue. Although I think it might be more about getting a hold of Trevor. Strahd has been trying to convince everybody that Ryan is is up to no good. Looks like Sins Sins able to the outside. Andre obviously got out of their first chance that he got. And it looks like we have a match, folks. Ryan Sins just immediately took Trevor down and went straight to the ground and pound. Trevor Strahd goes out of the ring now, and Ryan Sins is after him. Oh, Ryan's got that right fist taped up and everything. He came here looking for a fight. Trevor. Trevor drops that forearm, and he is, he is now on top of this matchup. Ryan Sins on the middle rope, and Strahd choking him with it. Ryan Sins in the corner. 
her setting him up. Whips him. Oh! Whips him so hard. Literally bounces out of the corner. Comes in with the splash. Drags Sins out. Takes it. Up with the Falcon Arrow. Two. And I, I will say this, Trevor Strahd is, is definitely looking, looking good. He is looking a, a lot better in the ring than he was when he first came here. Nothing like a little cold hard cash to give you a uh, new direction, yeah. focus. And uh, as, as we alluded to earlier, the only, yeah. the only way you can trust a straw is if you're the richest man in the room. And that's exactly how Andre Kibashi has gotten him in New Albania on his side, I'm sure. It was a, a hefty contract. And it looks like Ryan Sins was uh, Trevor's first target. Not only did he, and this is the thing about, about the Strahds, Trevor spent weeks trying to destroy Ryan's credibility before attempting to destroy him physically. He puts that boot up as Ryan comes in and he is indeed doing his best to destroy Ryan Sins in this matchup. Oh, takes Ryan up for the suplex, but Ryan reverses knees by kneeing him in the head. Catches that strike from Strahd and returns the favor. Strahd is rocked. I don't think I've ever seen Ryan throw this many strikes in a matchup either. New Albania has, and Trevor Strahd especially, have, have driven him to this point. But I must say, unlike some of, the, some of the other members of the CCW locker room, Ryan Sins has not allowed New Albania to uh, drive him crazy. I, I, I mean, quite literally, for some of our members. Comes out of the corner with that vicious lariat. And oh, Ryan nearly, Ryan had two, would have had three, but Andre Kabashi and Jay Abrams come in and break up the pin. And, that puts an, an official end to this matchup. Ryan Sins will win by disqualification. Freedom Ramsey and Darian Alter come to the rescue. Oh, uh oh. Looks like there's trouble in the Isle of Freedom. Oh, oh. New Albania is back in. Ryan Sins is leaving Freedom Ramsey and Darian Alter to the Wolves. But I honestly can't blame him. Trevor Strahd has been spreading obvious lies about him for weeks. And it's going to take longer than this for Freedom to forgive his... Sorry, for Ryan to forgive his friends. Trevor Strahd just took Darian out with that discus lariat. Andre Kabashi's choking out Freedom Ramsey. New Albania is out of control, folks.